Eh, jag tänkte börja med att presentera dem här. Det är våra vänner från Etiopien. De har ju varit här förut och det här är hela familjen Degene. Det är många andra ställen där man får möta 100% koncentrerad glädje på det här sättet. Och det tycker jag nu var skönt. Uh, Israel, yes. what are you doing in Sweden? <laughs> uh, in Sweden we are uh, here to uh, uh, perform the worship and the singing uh, with Ethiopian uh, for our tribal song. And, uh, and also, uh, we got invited to speak about the ETO skate project that we're doing back home, the skateboard project. To uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. De är alltså här med en grupp som heter Bright Colors. Och de, de visar upp då traditionella etiopiska folksånger. Och det är det ni just har sett. Och det är det även traditionella dräkter. Men de, Israel här har också startat ett väldigt intressant eh, projekt som heter Ifioskate som handlar om skateboard. Can you tell us a little bit more about Ifioskate? Okay. Uh, yeah, actually everything started here at Kungsingen. Allting började här i Kungsingen för några år sedan. Yes, uh, uh, when we were here as a group the first time uh, invited here. De var här på, när vi tog hit dem för ett antal år sedan och, och det var då det började. Så det var en tid då jag såg Samuel. <laughs> Samuel, hans son, var en skateboard. Jag såg det och jag var like, wow, det är verkligen bra. Jag vill lära honom. Och jag frågade honom att visa mig att lära honom. Och sen, ja, Samuel och Thomas lärde mig hur att skateboard på honom. De har ju alltså inte skateboardare i Etiopien, så att de, han hade ju aldrig sett en skateboard förut. Så att han fick ju se Samuel då, medan hans son eh, åkte skateboard och då, då, ville, då visade vi honom hur man skulle göra och så han ramlade lite grann och det gick inte sådär. Men... Yeah, that was the first time I have ever touched a skateboard or seen very close. Det var den första gången han någonsin såg en skateboard. And then when I went back home, sen jag åkte hem, and I had One skateboard. Had a missing skateboard. And then yeah, I was uh, spending time. I went to the place where I was born in uh, Addis Ababa, around Shoramida area. I went to him to the ten parts that are cool in Addis Ababa, which is the most famous in Ethiopia. And uh, and then there was kids, you know, kids were uh, around that area. It is really one of the rough neighborhood. Det är ett väldigt tufft område, mycket fattigdom, mycket barn utan föräldrar och det var ett ganska tufft område. And always when I go there I used to see and I really had a, uh, uh, what do I had a passion or to do something back to my community. Och Isar har alltid burit på den här längtan att, att passion för att göra någonting för samhället som där i den här väldigt... Yeah, so I started with one skateboard and uh, I started to hang out with the kids on the street and uh, uh, you know, kids who are involved in different kind of drugs and different kind of, you know, there is lots of liquor or local beer area near Waverly. Had you been to do it here on the road? Had you been to do it here on the road? Had you been to do it here on the road? So I used that skateboard. That's what I have. I have a skateboard and I have a music, so I start to hang out with them and you know show them love and spend time with them and start to share my life uh, with them and then you know to try to empower them. And I started I started to have more kids with me. So I started to learn how to play skateboard and learn some music and just show love to the children and the many are stuck with drugs and. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, with that, like I started to have like more skateboards. Whenever I had a chance to travel, I bring it back to Ethiopia because that's the first skate thing. There is no skate show. Nobody knows about skateboarding. Uh, so I just want to be an example for the kids because I grow up the same way like the rest of the kids around the neighborhood. So I just want to 
love them and spend time with them and uh, show them that they are they have a gift, God given gifts within themselves. So we use the empowerment with them to be scared. Ja, så här, han använder det här eh, till att, att visa barnen att det är Guds gåva på ett sätt. Att, eh, att de ska tro på sig själva. Eh, och han tar med sig en skateboard tillbaka varje gång han reser tillbaka till, till, till jorden. Så successivt har han byggt upp då, mer och mer material och rampor och grejer. Så so basically what we do is like, with that skateboard I started and then more kids. It's not only about skateboarding. Skateboarding is as a medium for us to meet with the kids and spend and share love to one another. Also, skateboarding is not just a medium to go out to the children and all. But since it exists, no one has ever seen skateboarding. But the children have taken it in the first skateboard they have seen in Ethiopia. So yes, we we built the first ramp in Ethiopia as well. We built the first ramp in Ethiopia. And um, and we have that spot, and the children will come, and the youth, and more kids come there. It's uh, our our motto is love in action. Yeah, the kommer mer mer barn. Det blir ett större och större. Och deras motto är kärlek i action. Can you tell us a little bit of the transformations that you've seen? Yes, there is so much transformations with this uh, because the kids who used to be involved in in drugs and who used to be. Uh, involved in the hooligans and they after they become with us and then you know share the love and then they have been like more responsible and then they are actually when we are traveling here those kids who used to be known with the stealing and with the drugs and you know with robbing they are the one who's taking care of the kids that right there they are very more responsible <laughs> De flesta förstår jag, men alltså, det de ser är en enorm förvandling i de här barnen. Då. De som har varit fast i, i, i droger, de som har varit med ute och varit organiserat folk, de som har varit ute och skönt. Eh, plötsligt så händer det något med dem, de möter den kärleken och, och, och det här. Att de har fått självförtroende, att de, har, de är värda någonting. Och det gör att de i sin tur växer och börjar ta hand om andra barn runt omkring. Så det förvandlar hela. Yes, and also we have this small stage coin after the skateboarding where we used to hang out. It's like a stage like this, and then that is we call it dream big stage. So basically, what we do is like after the skate session, we sit down on the floor, and the kids stand on the stage, and then they act out whatever they want to be. If he wants to be a president, he's acting a president right now on the stage in front of the rest of the kids. And then if he wants to be a musician, he brings his music. And if he wants to be an artist, paintings, they, they are amazing artists, poets, and different kind of talents that we see among the kids. So on that stage, we started very simple among each other. Sit down on the floor, and then, OK, stand up there. And then I stand here, and just act out what I want to be. And in that way, like, we started very simple like that a couple of years ago, and now it's become very big. And the kids are pursuing their uh, their their talents, God-given talents they have within themselves. So they are being really big in the United States. Yeah, they have a scene in the front of them that they have built, and therefore they are going to go up and live out their their talent or their their dreams or their dreams or their dreams. The, the, the drive for me for this is uh, the story of Moses. You know, Moses, when he was taking his people from, from slavery, from Egypt, taking to the promised land, he's stuck in between the Red Sea, right? He's stuck in between the Red Sea, and then finally the enemy is coming, and he gets stuck between the enemy and the Red Sea. And Moses was just shouting to God, God, why are you bringing me here? And then, he's, and then, you know, remember what God said? He said, like, why are you shouting to me? You have already, I've already given you a stick that you can use. And then with that stick, he hit the Red Sea, and the Red Sea was like a wall opening to all his people through the Red Sea and then to the Promised Land. And that, that, gives, me, that, that gives me a big meaning 
when I start, before I start the, the, the mission. And I always, when I turn, go around, around that neighborhood, I always like, I want to do something, you know? And then finally, when I just look at myself, what do I have? I have one skateboard and I have two. That's a stick I have. That's God-given stick. And I use that stick. And then now it's becoming really, really big. It's changing so many lives back home. And many kids are coming every day to our center. And they're, they're becoming a transformer. And they're, they're becoming very transformed through this. And uh, it's, it's a big movement that's going on. So when, we, when you talk about skateboarding there, it's, it's the kids who are dreaming big and in, you know, doing something good among the community. So, uh, so I use the stick. So I, I, pre I preach and I talk about this for my kids as well. Each and every one of us, it doesn't matter where we are, but every one of us have got a gift, God-given stick. And if, if we use that with love, that will change the circumstances. Han ser det här som en bild från när Israel gick ut ur Egypten och, och då var de fast i öknen mellan Röda havet och eh, fienden som kom mot dem och då ropar de till Gud, vad ska vi göra? Vi, eh, vi, nu är vi nu körda och då svarar Gud, jag har ju redan gett dig Moses en stav, använd den. Och, och då använde Moses staven och så kom jag och det är som en bild för eh, för Israel så motiverar honom att han använde det lilla han har. Det började med en enkel skateboard. Han tog det han har. Och det tänker man lite grann så tänker man, oj, vi som har så mycket, vad gör vi med våra saker? Mina parenteras till sånt Israel. Eh, men det, det är fantastiskt. Och så, så att han har börjat använda det han har och det har blivit en stor kraft som förvandlar samhället. Jag tycker det är helt fantastiskt. En stor applåd till... Eh,